In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to yet another wallet-friendly fragrance from the United Arab Emirates that draws a comparison to one of my all-time favourite fragrances, which is Black Phantom by Killian. I've also seen it being compared to Carlisle by Parfums de Mali, so I will let you know which one, if any, that I think it's closer to. Uh, however, you can pick this one up for uh, literally a tenth of the price of uh, either of those two that I've just mentioned. And it goes by the name of Wafa by by Ad Al Zafara, I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, to find out everything you need to know about this one, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's scent of the day is called Wafa by Ad Al Zafaran. It's a woody amber fragrance for men and it comes in an eau de parfum concentration. I bought this from a, a website called Ian A Distribution Limited and I paid £20.83 for it before tax. So around about £25 all in uh, for this 100ml size bottle. But if you compa uh, compare that to the uh, the Killian priced at £205 a bottle, that's half the size of this, or, or the uh, Parfums de Mali at £275 for a similar size bottle, uh, that kind of tells you uh, the kind of savings that you're going to make if this even slightly resembles either of those two. Like I mentioned in the intro, Black Phantom is pretty much my ultimate fragrance, hence why I bought this uh, 250ml carafe of the stuff. Uh, so I am pretty familiar with, uh, with the scent profile of it, and I can uh, definitely tell a poor knockoff from uh, 100 paces. Okay, so into the presentation and the box, I must say, looks really impressive uh, and it's really huge. It's uh, not far off being like a, a shoe box size and it comes in a, a rigid dirt uh, cardboard with uh, metallic gold branding. On the front is a really large W motif with uh, some floral detailing wrapped around it. Then uh, down at the bottom is the, uh, the name of the fragrance and also the uh, concentration. There's a small logo um, at the top of the box there and the rest of it is uh, pretty plain apart from uh, right down at the bottom uh, where you'll find all your product information uh, and also the barcode. To access the bottle you just lift up from the bottom and the fragrance is uh, mounted into this black and gold surround which uh, looks very uh, blingtastic and uh, you've got to give it a, a 10 out of 10 for effort. The bottle on this one feels really weighty and uh, to be honest it feels very expensive and premium. It's uh, a black opaque glass uh, around the back uh, but on the front it's got like a, a felt type material and again contains some intricate gold detailing including the name of the fragrance and also the concentration. The cap is also really heavy and it features like an embossed logo at the top with the, with the name of the fragrance and also the house. Um, and it's also got a gold atomizer which does deliver a really nice even distribution of spray. And overall, I think this uh, looks really, really nice, really expensive. Not too, a big fan of this, uh, this detailing on the front, but apart from that, when you've got it in your hand, I'd say this feels like a, a £200 niche fragrance. Yes, yeah, so into the note breakdown and the top notes in this one are Moroccan Rose, Artemisia, Spicy Notes and Styrax. In the mid we've got Leather, Iris, Jasmine, Cedarwood and Tuberose. And the base notes are White Musk, Patchouli, Vetiver, Amber and Oud. Okay, so from the opening spray of this, you're gonna get a really big blast of like fresh, um, kind of a tart, sour green apple, even though there's actually no apple listed in the official note breakdown, but it's definitely in here. And for the first few minutes, it couldn't be more prominent. But this is also uh, very quickly followed by uh, plenty of darker notes, including some earthy patchouli, a bit of resinous amber and plenty of oud, as well as all kind of all the other supporting notes. So you do uh, get a, a kind of a vanilla like sweetness uh, and it does quickly turn into more of a warm, rich, dark and sweet smelling scent, which is just laced with that apple note. And this is definitely the part that's going to remind you the most of uh, Carlisle. And I do get the comparison, albeit 
Uh, this doesn't have quite the same level of blend quality in my opinion uh, and it's not quite as smooth and creamy smelling. It's not harsh or off-putting in any way but um, anyone who's familiar with Carlisle will probably know that this isn't the original. You will also get a, a mild reminder of Black Phantom but again it's not close enough to think that this could be trying to be a, an out and out clone of it. Black Phantom opens up with a, a rich dark chocolatey type uh, accord mixed with some sweet caramel and roasted coffee which smells way more sweet and like gourmand than this one does uh, straight off the top. This is more smoky and leathery smelling and I'd say for the first 15 or 20 minutes or so it kind of just does its own thing with maybe a 60% resemblance to Carlisle which is mainly from that Apple Accord and perhaps maybe I'd say 40 or 50% resemblance to Black Phantom. But give it half an hour or so to kind of fully dry down and develop and it actually does start to resemble Black Phantom much more as time goes by to the point where I'd say it bears a, a fairly close resemblance to it with a, a similar dark, rich and intoxicating sweetness. You can still tell that you're, you're not smelling the original uh, but it's pretty. It's like a pretty decent tribute act and uh, it does become uh, like more like a, a flanker of Black Phantom with its own leathery oody twist. This definitely has more smokiness and more earthy patchouli which makes it a bit more masculine and uh, perhaps a little dirtier smelling than the Killian uh, but I'd say it ends up being about 70 or 80 percent similar. By this point the Carlisle comparison has completely vanished once the sour apple note fades from the kind of the opening and for me I'd class it more as an alternative to Black Phantom uh, than I would the Carlisle but if you uh, like either of those two I'm sure you'll uh, really enjoy this one because it's definitely in that kind of same type of genre and it's uh, kind of a hybrid between the two. Yeah, this is an autumn and winter fragrance and probably better suited to uh, dressed up classy evening events. To me it smells like money and uh, people who catch a waft of this on you are going to think it's super expensive and uh, they're never going to think that you're uh, rocking a £25 fragrance. So for that reason I think it's going to smell more authentic projecting from a man in maybe his 30s upwards rather than a younger guy. It's far too dark and resinous to wear casually, especially in warmer weather, uh, but around the festive season this will be absolutely immense, just like uh, liquid gold. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration and the performance I'd say is decent enough. It's pretty strong for the first hour or so and then you'll get more of a, a moderate projection for the next couple of hours after that. It will stick around uh, for 7 or 8 hours if you spray a couple of sprays on your clothes but for the for the last like 4 or 5 hours uh, you will have to be fairly close to maybe catch a waft of it, it's only, uh, only going to project a couple of feet away. Uh, but then again I find that both Black Phantom and Carlisle aren't room fillers either and both just do enough to kind of get you noticed and they produce more of a, an intimate elegant scent trail rather than being really loud and in your face. And this is uh, kind of the same. I'd say give yourself a couple of extra sprays on your clothes and it should see you through a full night out with ease. Yeah, I'd say that I don't actually think that this ever set out to be a clone of either Carlisle or Black Phantom. It has got its own unique identity but it'll just remind you of those two fragrances at different points. It's uh, more like Carlisle in the opening uh, with more of a, an emphasis like on Black Phantom during the dry down but it only ever reaches probably an 80% resemblance to, to either scent at any given point so if you are looking for an out and out clone of either of those two fragrances then I'd say that the, uh, the perfume parlour is still your best bet because they do really accurate copies of both of those two. However this is a, a really decent standalone fragrance in its own right and definitely well worth the price that you're going to pay for it. It smells expensive and classy and it's just a shame that the uh, summertime is almost upon us because uh, I would have really enjoyed wearing this over the past few months uh, but I'm sure there's still uh, plenty of cold days still to come here in the UK so I'll definitely uh, be giving it a few wearings and uh, a few run outs in the uh, next couple of weeks. Okay so that's about it for this latest episode but don't forget all this week I am going to be bringing you some more superb money saving alternatives to expensive niche fragrances. 
In tomorrow's episode, I'm going to be talking about one which I believe is a YouTube exclusive and I've not seen anybody else speak about it yet. Uh, but it's the new one from Fragrance World and you don't need me to uh, tell you what it's inspired by, uh, but it is called Happiness Hood. And uh, tune in tomorrow to find out if it smells as close and as accurate to the original as what the, uh, the bottle design is. And uh, as always guys, if you have found this uh, video useful in any way, then don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts, your critiques and all of the fragrances that feature in these videos. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section because it does help newbies to uh, discover some new stuff. So once again, thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode. Keep smelling fresh and I'll see you tomorrow for a little bit of happiness ood action. Bye bye for now.